170 miles, it's the longest stretch of free-flowing water in the lower 48 states. And you may be surprised to find the river has cut its own Grand Canyon. quite as grand as the one in Arizona. It's a sight to behold. Yellowstone's Grand Canyon is 1,000 feet deep and 4,000 feet wide. The river runs through 20 miles of ancient volcanic rock. Up top, rangers lead hikes along the Canyon Loop Trail. You're looking at the upper falls of the Yellowstone River. So the confusing thing about the nomenclature is that the lower falls is higher than the upper falls. It's simply because of where they are along the river, the upper falls is upstream from the lower falls. Although the upper and lower falls are less than a mile apart, a bend in the river makes it impossible to see them at the same time. Even though it's downstream, the view of the lower falls is a spectacular one. There are two Yellowstones. The one you see from the road, which is what the majority of visitors see, and the back country. You're liable to see animals undisturbed in their native habitats as well as hundreds of miles of undisturbed streams and rivers that hardly anybody sees. From May to November, 40,000 fly fishers wade through the multitude of waterways. To cast your line where there's less competition, many pack trips or fishing trips. Horses will take you there. Raining in a horse isn't the only option. The llama can be man's best friend in the backcountry. They're real polite. They're not like you see in a zoo where they spit. Um, I think we, our, our common comment is a spitting llama is like a biting dog. You just don't have them around. And that's a good education for most people. To ease a cross-country trekker's load, these beasts of burden can 